Schools Chancellor Richard Carranza started with the mea culpa. I apologize as I have in the past to all students and families that were negatively affected. Followed by a pledge to find solutions to no-show school buses, multi-hour trips, bus drivers, hired despite convictions for drunk driving and domestic violence, and all the other transportation woes that marred the start of the school year. Though I've only been here for six months, I guarantee you we are going to get to the root cause and we are going to fix this system. But that didn't shield him from the wrath of Corey, Council Speaker Corey Johnson, who was furious about the bus debacle. This has been the status quo for too long. It is unacceptable and it must change. Particularly galling to Johnson, last month the schools experienced the highest number of school bus delays every day. 623 last month compared to 482 in September 2017. Frustrated. I mean, we have 1.1 million school children in New York City. We need answers. We need results because families and children depend on it. The council speaker seeking answers to such basic questions as why school bus drivers aren't given their routes with enough time before the school year starts to practice driving them. The chancellor appeared with the new head of school busing, Kevin Moran, but he also endeavored to lower expectations. I just want to make sure that we, we level set. If the expectation is that there will be zero delay at the start of the school year, we're going to grossly let you down. The council is considering a package of bills to improve service, including adding GPS and apps so parents can track their kids. Education officials announced that they've launched a new Twitter handle to better communicate with parents about events that might impact bus service, prompting the council speaker to warn, be careful what you wish for. At City Hall, I'm Marcia Kramer, CBS 2 News. And Marcia mentioned that Twitter account. It has now been created. The handle is at NYC Schools Buses. We will, of course, post a link on our website, cbsnewyork.com.